You know, when I was a materialist, naturalist, uh, atheist, really, I started examining the complexity of life. I started looking at this design that was inherent in all organic things. And I started looking at these irreducibly complex machines at the microscopic level. Uh, X-ray crystallography and electron scanning microscopes were allowing us to look into the cellular world like never before. And, and I'm not a molecular biologist. I'm a lawyer. But I just used my, my thinking. I just, I just delved in and I started just examining these things with a critical, uh, critical mind. And, and I went to the subsystem level as an example in the human body. And I was looking at the reproductive system or the respiratory system, the, the human brain. And I was blown away that you, you have these incredibly complex systems that couldn't exist uh, you know, from slight successive variation over time. You either have a system in place or you don't. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, the human eye, for instance, uh, it's three totally separate subsystems that have no meaning by themselves. They only have meaning when they're connected together. So why would these three separate subsystems, the, the eyeball itself, the, the optic nerve that connects the eyeball to the brain, and the visual cortex of the brain, the lobe of the brain that actually tra translates the, the incoming pulses into contrast and color and depth, etc. So three separate subsystems that have no meaning by themselves. How do those gradually come into being if they have no purpose except connected to another fully developed subsystem? And the human eye boggles my mind. I mean, we have digital cameras today, and, and, and nobody would ever uh, assume that those just popped out of the desert somewhere. Obviously, they were created by engineers and put into production by automation specialists, and we use them, attach them to our computers by USB port, and we uh, manipulate our images. No, you know what's happening with your human eye right now? It blows away a digital camera. And yet, somehow we think that that just uh, is just a gradual process from some kind of... Uh, uh, an optic nub on the end of an earthworm that somehow developed into uh, what we have in the human eyeball today. I just ask you to put on your critical thinking cap and think that through um, and see where you come out.